Jade, welcome to Stockholm. Thank you, lovely to be here. <laughs> How does it feel to be here in Sweden? Actually really cool, it's my first time in Sweden. Oh. The city is so pretty, I was looking around like the architecture and stuff. It's great. <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I get to say that it's the first time that a British representative gets so much sympathy from the homeland, from the United Kingdom since a long, long time. Yeah. How do you react about it? Oh, well, like, I keep saying this, but I can't believe the kind of response and, and feedback I've had from everyone. They've been so supportive. And now I feel like, yeah, I'm proud to be British and I want to actually make Britain proud as well and change the record around. So, you know, hopefully this year it all pays off. And um, because of this sympathy and popularity in the United Kingdom, do you, are you hoping for a uh, career after Eurovision? in both United Kingdom and Europe? I'm definitely hoping for a career after Eurovision. I think it's a great platform, you know, for anybody starting out in the music industry to see what well, to sing to 100 million people is just something that is out of this world. And actually, I just signed my record deal with Universal. I signed a four album deal, which is amazing. Um, and I'm in the middle of recording the album now, but we're gonna finish it after May. So that should be out in September, October time. Is it a uh, plan to be uh, in the older group or? Yeah, okay. well, I'm planning to release it in the UK and all of Europe, and then you know hopefully on to the States as well afterwards. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's talk about Eurovision again. Um, you're making a huge promotion tour this year, um, which is kind of heavy. And how do you manage to keep, uh, you know, to manage the heavy timetable and uh, having to sing the song many, many, many times? Um, actually, it's for me, I would rather sing it a million times than not too many because I feel like everything's a rehearsal. So, yeah. you know, doing this promotional tour and visiting all the countries gives me a perfect reason to keep practicing. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's paid off. By the time I get to Moscow, I feel hopefully very relaxed and at ease with it. So, it should be good. Yeah. Um, so, the song is written by Andrew Lord Weber and Diane Warren. Um, who wrote the song um, in the middle of the process of sending the singer to a uh, Eurovision? Mm -hmm. uh, what is the song about, and do you feel that it reflects your your history, your story, your personality? Definitely, the first time I heard the song, I felt like I could relate to it, like on a lyrical level. It felt like it was the words to my own life, like I have been for a very long journey, um, and it feels like yeah, this is my time. Why not? Like I feel like I can share with them what it's all been for, what it's all been about. Um, I'm looking forward to singing it in that setup at Moscow on stage with there being thousands of people watching as well as millions at home because that is the moment that I always have pictured, not necessarily the Eurovision, although actually now it is my dream to win it, but um, just the idea of singing to so many people like and seeing just the sea and not being able to pick out one face in particular, I'm really looking forward to that. I can imagine. Um, so you talked about the performance in Moscow. Uh, do you have more information about about it about the stage performance? Do you do you know now if uh, Andrew will follow you in Moscow to the stage? Yeah, I still don't know if Andrew's going to play on stage in Moscow. I really wanted to. I'm just waiting to hear back. But he's definitely going to come. He's going to okay. be there. Uh, he said he would love to show his support. So that's going to be good. Also, Diane Warren's going to come as well. So that'd be cool. Great. And do you have more information about the outfit or the dress, or maybe there will be a choreography or a st stage, uh, no, uh, staging? Do you have more information? Uh, I can say that the, the dress is being designed by a British designer called Amanda Wakeley, and she's done some beautiful dresses, and she designed the dress with Princess Diana and lots of people. Um, but in terms of everything else, I have to keep it a secret, because oh, yeah. well, obviously we want to keep a surprise for everyone. <laughs> All right, um, you're performing as uh, number 23 yeah. in Moscow. How do you feel about it? Do you feel like uh, it's your chance? Yeah, I'm so happy with that. Like That was the one thing I was nervous about because it's completely out of my control where we, I would end up performing. So to be right near the end as well, I'm like, oh, that's a, you know one of the best positions I could have asked for. So let's just hope that this is the year for the UK. Come on. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so when I'm talking about the 16th of May, uh, do you have a dream or an idea that comes to you right now? Yeah, winning. <laughs> like, honestly, I try and picture the 16th of me winning. And in a very strange way, I'm so scared about reaching the 17th of May because I know when I get to the 17th of May, I'll know what the result is. Either way, whether I have won or whether I haven't. And, you know, whatever happens, I know that there's a future for me, but to win Eurovision will just be the ultimate dream, so... 
I'm really happy I did it. Yeah, because you know that many artists have have flopped in Eurovision and had a great career after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's definitely. <laughs> I know it's a win-win situation. It's just that I always go into everything wanting to do the best that I possibly can. So. Yeah. Uh, so tonight you will be performing in Stockholm with uh, the representative from Ukraine and Azerbaijan and Spain. Uh, yes. is it, what, uh, have you heard the songs? Yeah, I have actually. I have heard them. Um, the last one I saw, well actually no, I saw Soraya and um, I, forgot, I can't remember her name, but the girl from the Ukraine. Uh, Svetlana. Yes, in uh, Amsterdam. Yeah. Because uh, there was 25 of us performing, oh. yeah, and that was the last one, and I didn't sing till like 1 a.m. 1 in the morning, so I was like backstage with loads of Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really fun, actually. It was nice to see all the other countries, and everyone's really nice. I know it's a competition, but it doesn't feel like all, you know, okay. in person, so it was oh. cool. Yeah, um, and apart from them, do you have any favourites this year, a favourite song? Uh, Actually, France is one of my favourites. I think she's very strong. She's got an amazing voice. I know obviously she sells on like, records already, but I think she's great. Um, I think Norway's very good, actually. He's different, you know, the fiddle and stuff. I think that's a great look. Um, and who else have heard? Oh, yeah, Sweden. I saw Sweden's um, entrance. And she's like operatic, but yeah. she has this incredible voice. <laughs> and I was so blown away by her range. She's got an amazing yeah. range. And yeah, I thought it was different, the fact that they used, you know, mixed opera with them, maybe a sort of a dancey genre. I just thought it was really cool. Yeah. A different approach. Um, and um, um, yeah, UK has not, uh, have, have not uh, scored very well lately yeah. but um, what do you feel about the songs what were what what is your uh, British favorite song in Gina your G who are just a little bit is my favorite which is um, but for so many reasons uh, the song was great she was great and I loved her dress me and my sister yeah. used to be like oh her dress is great like, <laughs> so yeah she's my favorite one uh, and finally so do you have a message from the readers of yours can come from France and the uh, whole Europe yeah, I want to say thank you to everyone. Like, you guys, I can't believe the support I've had, you know, particularly because I'm not from your country. It means a, a lot to me. I can't even put it into words that people actually care enough to send me messages and write fan mail. And for everyone that ever showed support, I just want to personally thank you. And good luck. Yeah. <laughs> and good luck to you and whatever happens after your vision in your future career. But good luck for your vision. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs>